I'm Anna Casey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video I'm gonna show you how I create content for my social media, my website and etc. I wanted to film this video for a while and show you the whole process from the beginning to the final result. Today's very rainy, mellow day, it's Monday morning, so I'm planning to go to the gym, I'm gonna show you how I exercise, then we're gonna do some beauty treatments. For the next part of this video I'm gonna show you how I style outfits. It's very exciting. There is a lot of new items that I got for this 2024 season. We're gonna style some trendy looks. Then we're gonna uh, go on to the production part where we're gonna pick out the location together. We're gonna create the content. I'm gonna show you what I use as my equipment, my huge production team if there is any. Then it's gonna be a post-production part. I'm gonna show you how I edit my content, what is my professional background. So yeah, it's gonna be a very exciting video. Let's get into it. I already did my 30 minutes on a treadmill and now I'm doing three sets of exercises by Pamela Reef. I'm working on my back and at the end I'm gonna do some stretching. It feels so good. I love working on my balance. It makes me strong. Verst sent me PR package and I would like to show you what's inside. I'm obsessed with Verst Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm and I'm so happy to get restocked on that one. I highly recommend you trying it. This vitamin E infused balm melts away makeup without stripping moisture from your skin. Massage it into your skin with wet fingertips. This balm softens to create a light, gentle milk that rinses clean with no oily residue. In the package there were also terry cloth headbands and dew point moisturizing gel cream. This lightweight moisturizing gel cream with a jelly-like texture absorbs instantly into your skin, leaving it feeling refreshed and never greasy. I'll make sure to link everything in the description box below. So I'm straight out of shower and now I'm gonna show you what I usually do mainly right before I have important photo shoots or events. I'm just gonna do a simple slick ponytail. So I like to start by shaving my face. I know it sounds very weird but this is the treatment that I do once in a while. I have like a peach fuzz going on my face and it's really annoying when I do my makeup. So shaving my face really helps to remove this peach fuzz, dry skin, etc. I use my Venus shaver. Of course, I'm gonna sanitize with alcohol. Basically, just go against the hair growth. So now that I think that I removed all the peach fuzz, I cleansed my face. I'm gonna dry it. For my face mask, I'm gonna use this Derma Roller Silk Face Mask. I showed you this previously and this is currently my favorite. I keep them in the refrigerator. For even nicer touch, I'm gonna go with my Glow Pro metal tip that feels really good on my skin. Also keep it in the refrigerator so it's really cool. It removes puffiness and just feels really good. Okay, now I'm gonna let my face mask dry about 10-15 minutes. As you can see, my face is very moist. I want to go with some microcurrent. I'm going to use my new face. To complete my today's glowing treatment, I'm going to use my Adura LED red light treatment mask. There is so many options of like different types of lights for different purposes, but my favorite is the red light therapy. So we're just gonna go with the red light. There is a timer, so it's about 20 minutes. While 
its own I'm just gonna go lay down and maybe read or watch some videos on my phone and so yeah that's basically completes my beauty treatment for when I need like extra glowy beautiful skin I have so many new items here. Well, one thing is because I'm preparing for New York Fashion Week that's coming up very soon in less than a month. So I ordered some new items that I think could go really cool if I get to go to New York Fashion Week, but also just in general, cool addition for my wardrobe. I'm gonna start with what I'm wearing now. This is Maxi Skirt Low Rise by 16 Arlington. I love the low rise skirt. I love the slit on the back. Either I, I'm maturing or I don't know what's happening, but I fall in love with this skirt and it's so modern, so cool, so young. And I love that it is low rise. This is another thing I thought I'll never wear is the low rise stuff. Even though I think my body type is where I can afford to wear anything I want, but low rise was never my favorite. Maybe because of the comfort thing. I don't know why. I'm wearing it with this LV cape top. It's made out of technical jersey, their uh, signature material. And it has like white LV logo here, so I think it's like kind of goes with the skirt. Looks cool with my LV purse. I got a new boots. They are by this brand Caperni. I think that's how you pronounce it. They are so, so cool. They're in this like crinkled brown leather. And there is a little logo right here. And I love how wide they are, just like basically tubular shape so it looks really different looks really cool so there is no zipper and I think also would go nicely with my purse just because also has brown details on it I love it another piece from 16 Arlington I have is this top this is actually a top that I bought together with this skirt, something I can wear together. I had to tailor it for me to wear because initially when I bought it, it has very low v-neck. I took it to a tailor and they put like a hook here, I told them to do so. And even though this is my size, the back string was very wide. I couldn't move my arms or anything. I had them make the string a little shorter. It has built-in shoulder pads and it's actually really, really nicely shaped just it wasn't working for me to like wear it out like going to an event or something also a tip like sometimes when you wear pieces that are like statement like this you you kind of have to make them work yourself so i got this yearly's body clothing tape and these are extra wide because i had something similar before and they're very thin so it doesn't really work well doesn't hold the clothes these are extra wide and you just tape them along the cut right here it stays on. Same goes for this dress. It also has a deep V cut, which I think these pieces are so nice and so cool. It's just they're very not wearable if you don't make it work, you know, like you have to like tape this to your body so you don't like flash everyone, you know. This is what I noticed lately that silhouettes have become very tubular, like boots, dresses, tops, like everything, not just oversized, but like tubular. <laughs> it's still very unique unique and you know people gonna pay attention if you wear it love the v cut on the back as well it has pockets on the side which is so cool another um piece i got recently is this t-shirt if you know this brand you probably recognize this feather it made so much noise when the runway show came out i got the t-shirt and it's like has oversized feet uh, the shoulders hanging like low i would style it for like day look you can style it with like a skirt or anything. So many ways to wear white t-shirt. I got this really cool top by Alexander Wang. By the way, I got this for like an amazing, amazing price on sense.com. And when I received it, I did had much hopes for that piece. But when I received it, I'm like, wow, this is so nice. It made out of very thin synthetic material. I'm not sure exactly what it is. All ruched. 
accentuate my chest. I would wear this piece obviously with anything. It's a simple black turtleneck, but has a little details that are, I think, so cool. I would style it maybe with like this skirt, this one by Dion Lee. And this is 2024 trend, the see-through midi skirts, maxi skirts. See-through materials in general are very much in. So I decided to get this skirt. Well, this is actually a set, like I said, by Dion Lee. It has like this top and the midi skirt. It's also low rise, which is really cool. The top has like a sticky silicone trim going on the inside part so it doesn't really slide down. It has support here on the skirt, very well made. It's a sequin material, very delicate, sort of a see-through at the bottom. And it has a khaki print, which I was inspired by the battlefield. I think it's very appropriate for the current situation in the world. It has sort of a dark brown colors infused. So with these boots, this skirt looks really cool, in my opinion. And this can also be styled like if we're talking about like night out look. So with my LV coat over, it looks really cool. And again, like with this purse even looks so cool, huh? I have here some pieces that I just bought that I think are in. So this is the belt, very signature Isabel Moran belt. It's um, reversible, so you can wear a black side or the white side. I got like in a small size. So if I do wear it like this uh, on the hip, it's only like basically gonna go like this far. To wear it knotted, I would need a bigger size if I wanna wear it on the hip, but I can wear it and make a knot on waist like knots in general is a big trend of 2024 I got another like modern statement earring this one is by Coperni same brand as my boots round earrings with like a logo so I got a new denim hat I like the hats for like the beach and pool and I have to wear them because of dark spots that come very quickly if I don't wear hats going to the pool or to the beach next piece I got here is the shorts I learned the hard way after like buying so many pairs of jeans. I don't wear blue denim. I like blue denim on other people. I just don't incorporate it in my looks for some reason. I don't know why. I got a pair of shoes. This is Adidas. Just a classic samba. Black and white. Christian always complained. He's like, don't wear nice shoes because you start being weird about like if someone accidentally steps on them. I hate when like I wear like nice my LV sneakers or something. I always like, Kimberly, don't stuff on my shoes. I get like paranoid because of course I want them to last as long as possible. They're expensive. I hate wasting. So Christian's like, no, you gotta wear like something you don't care about. And so this is gonna be a, a pair of shoes that I don't care about so I can wear it casually. But I also think they're really cool. I have here top from, it's actually a bodysuit from Ella Yoga. It's a see-through, again, casually style it over like a, a bralette by Ella Yoga. I have tons of them. Another piece that I wanna show you is this Rick Owens bomber jacket. It's down jacket, so it's really warm. Again, I got it for outwear piece for New York Fashion Week. If I do get to go, I refuse to be cold there. If there is gonna be cold, I don't know. I don't know what to expect, so I just got it. This is forever piece. It's nice in quality and bomber jacket is very much New York or California. Like I wear bombers here a lot and I wear parka jackets, so yeah. I love the power shoulder. Wait. What do you call it? Like a rain resistant, nice and warm, wool details. This brand, Kors, I think it's a Greek brand of skincare. Name of the fragrance caught my eye, black pepper. And then I read the description and it's like, has like a citrus notes in there. Unisex scent. It's my to-go perfume at the moment. Got myself Celine Sunnies. I cut myself on a thing that Whenever I go to the pool or beach, all my sunglasses get oxidized. So I can't wear cute sunglasses, they have to be plastic. I got myself fun plastic pool sunnies. And they have brown lenses, by the way, they're not black. Another pair, this is from Bottega. This is more like fashionable item. They're like ultra square, like robotic square. But I like them, I think they're so cool. I like the Bottega cases, so cool, huh? I have here some skincare that I've been gifted to try 
try I don't know what to tell you I haven't tried it yet and I think it's more for like acne problematic skin so it's not really my concern but I'll try it and I'll let you know in my upcoming videos how did it go like I said you have to make your clothes work right I got this so it's basically the nipple covers there is a wide skin tone range mine is the lightest I had them before decided to renew either I'm gonna shoot this skirt on top with my blue marine patterned leather boots or maybe like this with this top right here and these boots I'll think on that and we will move on to the next part where I'm gonna show you what I use for filming how I create content want to show you my today's location for photo shoot I picked uh, this concrete wall with the palm trees and ocean on the background I'm at Pacific City in Huntington Beach I like to come out here because I can literally just simply walk across the street a while back there was just a simple concrete wall but now they put this graffiti over it made it very tacky in my opinion but it's attractive for tourists I used to come out here and just create content on this concrete wall it was so nice so now I kind of have to work around it we came at the perfect time to it's around 4 p.m. so the Sun is going down it's a little past four actually beautiful sunset view view of the PCH to be honest with you you can make work any location you just have to find the nice clean angle with not so busy background everything has to flow nicely with your outfit and whatever you're wearing so you see I kind of walk a little back and uh, I were able to avoid this graffiti on the wall and just have a little concrete moment with some palm trees and the ocean on the background I don't mind the PCH though, I think it suits here, you know. I do create all of my content myself, including retouching my photos and editing the videos. I believe investing in a high quality cameras, drones and etc. is important. Of course, I have knowledge in the photography and videography, so it isn't hard for me to figure out how to set the right settings, for example. Christian assists me by pressing the button on my camera and making sure that everything is in focus. I don't ask for any talent or some kind of creative skills but one requirement I have to my assistant is the muscles because my camera is very heavy so to make sure that the video is stable he needs to have strong arms we just got done with our photo shoot now we're gonna go home I'm gonna upload all the pictures and videos uh, and next I'm gonna show you how I edit them this morning I received this purse as a gift and I built my outfit around this bag. I love the suede material, dark brown leather strap with the silver hardware. I think it looks so cool. Um, also, this bag comes with a little lock and the key. I think it's so cute. This brand features so many cool designs. So I'm gonna link their website down below in the description box for you guys to check it out. Now, the final stage of content creation is the post-production. I go through all the footage, pick out the selects and start editing. I retouch images in Photoshop and edit videos in Final Cut Pro. As for my professional background, I have bachelor degree in public relations and while in college I took extra courses and I learned graphic design programs such as Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro and etc. Having the right education allowed me to create my personal style Style, elevate my social media content and publish high quality photos and videos. Large amount of my photos were in the fashion magazines and I even have a few covers. Note that I didn't spend a dollar on the covers. It is absolutely free for me. I'm so glad that the editors chose me to be on the covers. It is 100% has to do with the quality I deliver. As for my equipment, I'll make sure to list everything in the description box below with the links to shop. Thank you for watching this video. Please Please give it a like, subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!